Okay, another video, inverse functions, it's part, uh, the video is part three and the example is part three, okay? We need to find the same thing we did in the other videos. We have f of x equal x plus minus x plus one defined over one plus infinity. Well, the domain of f of x is also at r because it's a polynomial function, then it is for sure defined. If it is defined over all r, it's defined and continuous and continuous over one plus infinity right now we find after that we find directly its derivative to see if it is monotonic which is equal to x minus two what about to x minus two is it uh, define is it monotonic uh, over one plus infinity uh, is it monotonic over one plus infinity uh, uh, we substitute right instead of x its value instead of uh, x its value one or infinity it goes from zero plus infinity this means it's greater or equal zero and uh, and for sure it will be greater or equal zero okay uh, all of those are positive and we started in one just substitute here one two times one two minus two is zero and then it goes up and up and up right so uh, greater or equal zero over the interval one plus infinity uh, this means uh, uh, it's the function is strictly increasing and uh, f inverse exists let's go and find f inverse before we have to find f of one is equal to substitute one in terms of x in the original f of x right so the answer will be one minus two plus one it is <coughs> zero and we can substitute infinity that's why we find limit of f of x as x approaches infinity plus infinity because there's nothing uh, and called infinity right as a number uh, uh, we substitute plus infinity uh, and x squared is enough because it's the dominant uh, term of the polynomial which is the highest exponent so it's enough to put plus infinity squared it gives me plus infinity this means what? This means f goes from domain uh, 1 plus infinity to range uh, 0 plus infinity. And f inverse, it has to go from domain 0 plus infinity to range 1 plus infinity. And again, I, you have to be careful. I will, I will try to do another example uh, when f is strictly decreasing. Because when it's strictly decreasing, it don't go. The domain of f inverse will be inverse, right? Not f of a, f of b, but f of b, f of a. We will see that later. Don't worry. Uh, now, how to find uh, y equal uh, x square minus 2x plus 1. That was the original equation of the original function of f of x, right? y equal x square minus 2x plus 1. It's simple to find the expression of the inverse we can rewrite it as y equal x minus 1 to the power 2 it's an identity perfect square <clears throat> then we do what we uh, make radical for both sides to get x minus 1 equal plus or minus radical y but since x belongs to interval 1 plus infinity this means that x minus 1 is strictly greater or equal to 0 this means we take just x minus 1 equal radical y not minus radical y then x will be equal radical y plus 1 interchange y will be equal radical x plus 1 and this expression is the expression of the inverse function f inverse and that's it for this example let's do the example number four it's x squared minus 4x plus 3 over 2 plus infinity. So x squared minus 4x plus 3. x squared half of x equal x squared minus 4x plus 3. It's over 2 plus infinity. <laughs> same thing we do, right? We do same thing exactly. First, what is the domain of definition? Domain of definition is all set R. So it is defined and continuous over 2 plus infinity. Defined and 
continuous over two plus infinity. Uh, <clears throat> what is the derivative? F prime of x is equal two uh, x minus four, right? 2x minus 4, if we substitute 2, it will be 0, so it will be greater or equal 0 all the way from 2 to plus infinity. Then f also, in this case, is strictly increasing, and f inverse of x is, it does exist. So it exists, right? Uh, you, if you don't want to substitute, you just say when it is equal to 0. Uh, it, it's equal to 0, 1, or when it is greater or equal to 0, it's 1, 2x greater or equal to 4. This means x greater or equal to 2. And yes, we have x greater or equal to 2. Always we have that, so always it will be positive, right? We can say that. Now, let's find the image as usual and the range. Images and range of the inverse and of the... Since it exists, before we find it, we find f of 2. f of 2 will be equal. 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 3 so it will be equal 4 minus 8 plus 3 it's 7 minus 8 it's minus 1 right and uh, limit again we can't find f of infinity limit of f of x as x tends to plus infinity is equal to dominant term we substitute only in dominant term it will be 1 plus infinity it, it will be plus infinity then what is the uh, uh, domain of f was from 2 to plus infinity and the range it goes to uh, minus 1 plus infinity and f inverse exists and it has domain which is which was the range of f and the range is the domain of f okay now let's go and find it x square minus 4 x plus 3 remember x square minus 4 x plus 3 y equal x squared minus 4x plus 3. All right. What we can do here to uh, try to find the inverse function? It's easy. We will try to make this as a perfect square, right? We can try to make it as perfect square. All right. So y equal. This one is easy. If you want, uh, I, can, I can explain it later exactly how we do that. But this one is easy because I know that this is a perfect square. So I just subtract one to uh, make sure that I didn't change the original function. Plus 4 minus 1 is plus 3. And I will explain later why we do that. Right? Uh, now, y should be equal. These three first terms will be x minus 2 square, perfect square, minus 1. Let's take minus 1 to the other side. It will be x minus 2 square equal y plus 1. And if we radical both sides square root of both sides then it will be x minus 2 equal plus or minus radical y plus 1 right but what about x minus 2 right x minus 2 since x minus uh, since x starts from 2 exactly so x minus 2 is greater or equal to 0 this means x minus 2 is only radical y plus 1 so what is x x will be radical y plus 1 take minus 2 to the other side it will be plus 2 and interchange interchange to find the inverse it's y equal radical x plus one plus two and this is the equation and this is the function of inverse of f which is inverse f of x and uh, i guess that's it see you next video